What's up guys, it's the only Ninja Warrior Aviators and a Superhero Hot bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. Now, today we are doing a tutorial video. I know I haven't been doing a lot of tutorials recently. I've been sick and not with, you know, the virus that's going around. Just, you know, in general, I've had surgery. It's been a long couple weeks. And so, it's taken me a minute, but don't you worry. I'm back with a tutorial for you guys. And like I said in my review for this staff, I'm doing a tutorial with this red staff. If you want to check out the metal staff for yourself, there's lots of different colors I'm sure you can get if you're interested. I'll leave links in one of the corners and I'll leave links down in the description if that's what you want to check out. But for this tutorial, we're going to be doing a trick I like to call the belly float just because I don't really know a better name for it. It's when you take the staff, come it around your body and float it across your chest or belly area. So sit back, relax, and before we get started, run that intro. All right, so here's how we're gonna start. We're gonna start right-handed because I'm right-handed and that's most people are right-handed. So we're gonna start that way and you can obviously do it on both sides if you so desire. But first, we're gonna take it in our right hand and you're gonna put your right hand by your left hip just like this by your left hip so you're gonna take your staff you're gonna point it away from you coming around your head and then behind your back one more time showing that motion again around away from you over your head and around your back now from here you're going to use that momentum that you just gained to let go and catch it behind your back with the other hand. Now when you catch it, you want your hand to be facing palm up. That's gonna let the staff land and fall into your hand instead of trying to reach out and grab your staff from behind your back. And that doesn't really work quite as well. So one more time, nice and slow. You're gonna go around, forwards, around your head, and then around the back. You're going to let go, it's gonna float, and you're gonna catch it palm up with your left hand. All together, it's gonna to look something like this. Now that ending I wanna get into, it's really simple. It's literally doing the opposite of what you did in the first place. It's once you catch it, it's unwinding and pulling it by your other hip. So you can do it actually back and do the same thing to the other side and go back and forth like that if you so choose. Definitely check it out, definitely try it out for yourself. Make sure you have plenty of room because this has a tendency to fly off. And be as always with you're doing, when you're tricking with any weapon, always be careful because it can hurt, you know? You get hit in the head, you get hit in the groin, it, it doesn't feel good, so be careful as always. And please, please guys, if you so desire, please check out my, um, links down below I have a discord I have patreon I have uh, merchandise if you want to help me out or just you know get any of that stuff or just like share the video that's always super helpful but until next time my name is DJ Moore this is the modern ninja and I'm out 